in synodal action potential see here two channels involved here first channels voltage gated calcium sodium channel i mentioned you before mainly uh, according to your ganon uh, there is transient calcium channel involved here it this through this transient calcium channel calcium ion enters through the synodal fiber which causes depolarization of the synodal fiber and potassium voltage gated potassium uh, channel involved for repolarization that is two channels involved in synodal fiber transient calcium channel and uh, voltage gated potassium channel but in case of cardiac muscle fiber three channel involved here again i mentioned you th these things again i am mentioning you first voltage gated sodium channel so slow calcium sodium channel and voltage gated potassium channel now this is another another written question pacemaker potential what is pacemaker potential or pre potential in case of synodal action potential see here rhythmically discharging cells that is s node or av node have a membrane potential that after each impulse declines to the firing level and triggers the next impulse this is called pre potential or pacemaker potential i have taken this slide from ganon this is common written question what is pacemaker potential or pre potential that is pre means age that is for depolarization shuru howar ager ongsho tuku hocche pre potential tahole dekha jacche in s node and av node dekha jay rhythmically discharging cells have a membrane potential that after each impulse declines to the firing level and triggers the next impulse this is called pre potential or pacemaker potential i am showing you figure that see second figure b that is every time action potential before uh, is causing the depolarization there is declining the portion that is pre potential is present here and here see here in second b figure b there is transient uh, cal calcium channel transient calcium channel is responsible for this pre potential transient calcium channel transient calcium channel and long lasting calcium channel there are two types of calcium channel present this transient calcium channel and long lasting calcium channel calcium enters through this channel and causes s nodal depolarization then for voltage by the voltage gated potassium channel if flux of potassium causes repolarization again it goes downwards that is pre potential occurs here again next firing occurs why it is occurs due to decreased potassium efflux potassium ion ta bear hote to deri hoy and opening of transient calcium channels mainly pre potentials are normally prominent only in s node and av node this is common mcq question pre potential where found s node and av node we found this pre potential see the figure first figure a that is cardiac muscle action potential cardiac muscle action potential what did we mention you that first sodium channel voltage gated sodium channel for depolarization and second thing slow sodium uh, calcium sodium channel involved for plateau phase and repolarization due to efflux of potassium through voltage gated potassium channel and b figure b here is showing s nodal action potential that is first thing is pre potential pre potential portion occurs due to uh, transient calcium channel and repolarization occurs due to potassium efflux through the voltage gated potassium channel this is same figure pre potential or pacemaker potential then depolarization then repolarization that is s nodal action potential now this is common written question and viva questions what are the differences between action potential of s node and action potential of cardiac muscle listen to me very carefully this is very very important written questions and also for viva question examiner may ask you what are the differences between action potential of s node and action potential of cardiac muscle already we have told these things the action potential of s node that is sinoatrial node is largely due to calcium influx already i mentioned this the transient calcium channel that is calcium influx is responsible for depolarization of action uh, action potential portion of s node that is action potential of sinoatrial node is largely due to calcium influx mainly a little contribution of 
sodium ion and action potential of cardiac muscle whereas the action potential of cardiac muscle is largely due to sodium influx of course that is first sodium channel voltage gated first sodium channel influx of sodium uh, through this channel causes depolarization of cardiac muscle fiber this is the basic difference number 2 action potential develops very slowly because due to free potential or pacemaker potential present here that's why slowly develops action potential but in cardiac muscle fiber rapidly that is rapid depolarization spike potential occurs here number 3 action potential uh, in case of action potential of SNO there is no plateau phase there is no plateau phase so plateau absent here but in case of cardiac muscle of course obviously plateau present here number four pre potential or pacemaker potential of course prominent in s node that is action potential develops very slowly here because it needs time due to pre potential or pacemaker potential but there is no pre potential or pacemaker potential present in the cardiac muscle it occurs very rapidly depolarization occurs very rapidly here now rmp that is resting membrane potential of s a node already we have study these things in general physiology that RNP of S node is minus 55 to minus 60 millivolt but in case of cardiac muscle it is high that is RNP of cardiac muscle minus 85 to minus 90 millivolt number six action potential can develop without external stimulus due to self excitation of course it is one type of junctional tissue or conductive system and s node has special capability to generate its impulse automatically and rhythmically without any external stimuli this is the special criteria of s node but in case of cardiac muscle of course external stimuli must be needed here this external stimuli may be chemical may be electrical or thermal these are the basic differences between the action potential of s node and action potential of cardiac muscle these students remember these things and study these things very nicely and memorize these things very nicely for your written and viva exam please this is same figure basic differences between the s nodal action potential and cardiac muscle fiber action potential now another written questions very important written question junctional tissues of the heart these are some specialized fibers in the cardiac muscle which can generate cardiac impulses and transmit them to all parts of the myocardium they are called junctional tissues or conduction system of the heart or conductive system of the heart here impulses what do you mean by impulse already i told you in several times that impulse means action potential nerve impulse cardiac impulse these are the mainly action potential so the name of the junctional tissues already i told you that sinoatrial node or s node number two the internodal atrial pathway then number three atrioventricular or av node number four bundle of hedge and its branches and number five parkinson's system so there are five things involved in the junctional tissues but in your exam what you did mistake always you do mistake here that you are you forget to mention here internodal pathway that is sinoatrial node then you tell atrioventricular node no not like that way please tell first sinoatrial node then of course internodal atrial pathway because without this internodal atrial pathway never conduction is possible from left right atrium to left atrium or right atrium to av1 av node because there there are three types of internodal pathway present anterior middle and posterior internodal pathway anterior middle anterior internodal pathway another name buckles bundle middle internodal pathway another name point back bundle and posterior uh, internodal pathway or uh, tract of thorel but in physiology you only mention here anterior middle and posterior this is enough for you i think so there are five junctional tissues already 
I have told. See here, sinoatrial node. See here, location of in this figure, sinoatrial node, atrioventricular node. See the internodal pathway, the anterior internodal pathway or Bachmann's bundle, their middle internodal pathway, uh, which is called when the bundle, and posterior internodal pathway or tract of thorel.